In the diagram below of triangle ABC, AC is extended through point C to point D. And BE is drawn to AC. So that description there, okay, it's already drawn on diagram. Uh, which equation is always true? So this setup right here, uh, because it's New York State geometry regions, they're really assessing for very specific skills. I noticed that there are several um, exterior angles uh, drawn. So angle one here is an exterior angle to uh, triangle ABC. Uh, and angle four is uh, an exterior angle to triangle ABE. I understand that angle one is going to equal to the sum of the two interior angles. So it's going to equal to 5 plus 6 plus 3. I also understand that angle 4 is going to equal to uh, angle 4 is going to equal to uh, angle 5 plus angle 6. I just spotted something else. Angle 1 can also be re-expressed as angle 3 plus angle 4 as well, because angle 1 is actually exterior to two different triangles, right? So it's so for this guy right here, what I just wrote down, angle 1 equal to 3 plus 4, this is true for triangle EBC. Anyway, let's take a look at some of the options here. Which equation is always true? So angle 1 is equal to angle 3 plus angle 2. Is that the case? Uh, 3 plus 2, that is not true. Uh, option 2, angle 5 is equal to 3 minus 2. Angle 5 is equal to 3 minus 2. That does not always have to be the case. Uh, number 3, angle 6 is equal to... 3 minus 2. That again does not always have to be the case. Angle 4, or actually option 4, angle 7 is equal to 3 plus 2. That is true. So, you know, I overlooked one other case over here, and that is angle 7 here is exterior to triangle EBC. So angle 7, yes, it does equal to 3 plus 2. So that's option four.